No, no, I think Mystery oh. Cat is Frank. So, I think Soul. Watch it! Is this Soul Stars missing? I don't know, we're missing somebody, so. Well, typical. <laughs> Left 4 Dead 2, action, or n lack of action thereof. Well, we did get the cast started close to one time, so that's good, I guess, but... <laughs> so, this is part of the... Um, fuck it, doing it live weekend to uh, tourney. And it's a single elimination, eight team tournament, I believe. And this is round one. And this is, I think this is all going to be Watch done by shooting. Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. So probably uh, a lot of games to be played over the next two to three days. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. Well, the fact that the whole tournament is going to happen in one weekend. Because sometimes I think these tournaments are, like, drawn out a bit. With, you know, uh, pre-bracket games and then double elimination. And then, I, I don't know, sometimes the, the tournament directors are pretty creative in how they um, create the matches at the beginning of these tournaments. I know Confogel Cup for sure was, like... Pretty confusing. Ah, what is that with you shooting me? I don't know if uh, you guys saw it, but we do have a couple players that are um, out of game rebuilding their sound cache, so that could take up to a couple minutes, so that's what we're waiting for. While we have a second here, um, if you want to send us shout outs, you can do that. Um, you can add either myself or One Eye. My ID is Justin Beaver, and then if uh, One Eye, you want to share yours? That's a good question. I'm not even exactly sure what it is, but uh, <laughs> but right now, yeah, I think it's just uh, one eye. So if you want to send us a shout out, uh, which is uh, a little phrase that we will say uh, live on the air, go ahead and add us on either one of those, and we will read your shout out. Are they saying they need another spot? I think maybe like increase. Players to 11. It says it's set to 11, so I think we're good. Just waiting for them to get back in. And Sol actually messaged me. He said he's rebuilding his audio files, so it's probably what's going on right now. Oh, rebuilding his audio. Haha, uh -huh, Sol, we got you. I wonder if he's one of those guys deleting that, those sounds. I know, removed all those uh, sounds. I wonder if he did that. I doubt it, but... No. He's probably missing... Missing some stupid sound. Speaking of the whole sound thing, I don't know how many people... I don't know if you've seen it when I... There's like a, like a whole uh, thread on Left 4 Dead Nation about the whole sound file thing and people getting upset over that, so... Well... I don't know. I do. I have replaced some of the gun sounds in my cache because oh, they're just too loud. No, so to put it like don't hurts my ears me? after like hours of playing, getting smashed by AK sound. I mean, in a lot of people. I mean, I just. I don't know. Yeah, they are. They are if really I'm getting loud. an advantage from it, then I mean, the only advantage that I really think that I'm getting from it is saving my long-term hearing. So. Whatever. I can't. I can see like both sides of that argument that I mean there is some level of uh, advantage you might get from having quieter gun sounds or even no sounds yeah, at all. Yeah, no, no doubt. I mean, them. I don't remove. I haven't removed them completely. They're just a little bit muffled compared to what they are before. I mean, it, I mean a lot of the sounds like the AK. You know, when I'm playing vanilla, I guess it doesn't matter. So basically, most of the vanilla guns I've toned them toned them down. But the uh, the sound submachine gun, I think in mine makes a little bit different sound. It makes like a pew pew sound instead of a, like a bang bang. Boy, quit we have a shout out in game. Way. It's a shout out from Smudge to Soul. It's a uh, shout out to Soul for doing this right before the match. And we're still waiting for him to uh, rebuild his audio cache, I believe. So, yep. not sure how much longer that's gonna be. 
Yeah, Soul gets uh, five derp stars for his fucking <laughs> timing. Man, I swear to God, you can shoot where I think it's kind of funny when. I'm getting, like a, I'm getting a shout out from Soul right now to <laughs> Smudge. You do realize just a shout, you're shooting, just right? Just a shout out to Smudge. Alright, he's at 99%, I guess, so uh, he'll be back in any minute, I guess. He's shouting out to Smudge for being ready oh, and on time and having his shit together at the right so time. Ready? I'm so confused, I don't even know what's going on. We are the 99%. You never heard hey. of that? I, no, I haven't. That's the Did common, uh, that's one of the common chants, uh, from like Occupy Wall Street. And Occupy Wall Street, yep. They do, Did they you... do like op Occupy different, uh, cities too. They have one here in Vegas. Did you, uh, play that, uh, video we had talked about, Rev? Before? No, I did. I did, did but then, oh, did uh, I realized I... I I still had my other Quit like that thing my, my overlay like Left 4 Dead 2 TV so it doesn't show my screen. I had that, but then I oh, switched right. over and it and it showed my 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 YouTube page right there live in front of everybody. So that was oh that nice, was awesome. Yeah, that was great. That was real professional of me. <laughs> wow. For those kind of funny. spectators that don't know what uh, fuck it we're doing it live is all about. It's a uh, it's a meltdown that Bill O'Reilly had a couple of years ago. Actually, he looks pretty young in the meltdown, so it was probably a while ago. Where he gets frustrated with Come the teleprompter now, and the camera, and he starts just screaming like a maniac. And he just says, instead of reading off what he's what's supposed to be rehearsed on the teleprompter, he just goes, "Fuck it, we'll do it live. Fuck it all." And gets all I can't stuff. see it. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't, it doesn't say anything. Say I can't read anything. that. <laughs> I can't read that. It don't, what's that supposed to say? What's that supposed to Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll write it myself. We'll do it live. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> anyway, Bill O'Reilly supposedly, you know, like this uh, conservative newscaster or whatever. Oh, really? That's, he's going all yeah. crazy. Yeah, he's the Fox. He's like their guy, you know. He does commentary for the, the conservative uh, right that makes it even more funny coming uh, exactly, from him. Exactly, <laughs> because, yeah, he's always cutting on all the liberals for blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Yeah, if you've never seen Bill O'Reilly's show on the Fox, uh, it's pretty funny. I don't really uh, watch a whole lot of news. I'm pretty busy with school and stuff normally, so I play games and do school. That's about my life. Good life. Yeah, it's like politics. It's pretty boring. Well, are you learning? They like anything? bash Obama. Go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead, Riv. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you wanted to go in there and bash Bill O'Reilly a little bit, I wouldn't mind at all. I kind of <laughs> hate that guy as a prick. Well, maybe you're learning some interesting things at school. Ah. Are you not? No? Me? Oh, God, no. School is the most retarded thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It uh, looks like Soul's done, so he should be coming back in here pretty soon. I'd like to see this match get underway. See what kind of action we have in store for tonight. Good, good, good. Alright, well I'm going to get off the mic now. Alright, go back to your crappy camera work. Go back to my crappy <laughs> camera <kidding>. work. <laughs> I just thought I'd like to, uh, you know, spice things up a bit with my awesome, my awesome voice, you know, because that's how I roll. You're so cool. You're mm -hmm. so cool. You're a cool cat. All right, I'll take it away. <laughs> this is a pretty good spray. Check this out. It's, uh, Which one? It's Buzz Lightyear. It's the one underneath the car. He's got like a straw, like an erect straw sticking out of his midsection here, and it says, It's not going to suck itself. <laughs> What's the other one? The thing wearing a there's like a sunshine and then like I don't know some weird thing. I, 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 I think that. maybe that's supposed to be a hunter or something. Uh, you can like see his hoodie and his mouth and that's it. Ah, oh, damn! Rev, you beat me to it. Soul has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Fashionably late. 
So, Soulstar is finally in here. The teams are readying up, so we should be able to go live here in just a minute. Excited to get this game underway and see what, uh... Yep, they have a pretty good hit. Start off here, they got a triple cap with the boomer. They have a jockey, smoker, and charger, so... This is a good setup. Yep. A lot of, if they, if uh, they can get a free boom and, and a triple cap on the green guys, then it could be massive. Usually this hit doesn't amount to much, though. Before, because oh my they, god, we have a pause <laughs> before the game even starts. GG. Usually, like, someone has to sack one of their cappers to get a boom off, and they don't maximize, but... We'll see. Well, while we have a pause here, I have a shout-out from Jeff, who uh, usually cameramans these. Shout-out to Stol uh, Soulstar for watching the stream rather than readying up. And I didn't see what this pause was over. Everybody's just shouting, GG, what the hell. Okay, thanks, we win. So I don't know what's going on exactly. Looks like they're readying up again. Here we go. Jam it's on! Hey! So that first attack is a Jockey Charger, Boomer, and a, um, something died. Oh, I guess Faze probably crashed. That looks like what happens. I would yes. say Faze crashed. And, yeah. yeah, they're yelling for a spawn timer here, and survivors are obliging by not leaving the area. It's very nice of them. Oh yeah, it's a real friendly game. And he does have his uh, spawn back up, so we'll see the survivors push forward here, and the yep, first attack should come in pretty soon. Baiting out those commons, taking their sweet time. Yeah, it looks like the cappers are lining up behind. The smoker is pre-spawned in the back. Jockey's coming in on the sign. Boomer's smoker waddling in. Land. If Jockey lands, we have a little bit of a two-cap in the back. Boomer's waddling in trying to get a spawn. Look at him, he's like waddling in the long <laughs> He's, gonna, he's gonna get a boom, big boom here, yeah. Nice! <laughs> waddled in all the way from the cars, like along the bushes hey. there, hidden from the surprise. Gets a triple boom for delay. Really and the nice. Smoker, and the Smoker and Jockey did some pretty good damage too. That was about 50 damage on the first attack, which is quite a lot for that area. Yep. 54 damage, that is pretty good for that first hit. Great first hit by Team Elusive, and we actually do have a tank up already. Uh, let's take this away to an Elusive War Room. Reloading! And here comes a rock that will probably land. He'll get a rock. Ooh, he's hit it. Oh, oh come on. Let's keep on looking. Shoot it! Shoot it! Right, move up to Shaylin. Don't do a soul star here. Yeah. They're going back station. You good. If you have to hide, hide behind that big tractor for me. Kill that boomer. Hey. Ready for a rock? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's go. Mm. Good job at uh, maintaining all of it. If you have to hide in the trailer, don't don't stay there. If they push a little more, we could get a boom. So. I don't think hey, get a I can get a charge from here. You I could get ready? a smoke too. Ready? Yep. Or no? Yep. Right. Uh, smudge, you ready? 3, 2, 1. I'm gonna probably have to commit on the next. Get in a spot where you can go. You're gonna get pushed up, don't take shit. Hey, let me get a. Get rid of there. Uh, so you can go on the right, go for that fan. Just go and go. In. They won't. No, oh, not that fan, they're one. Back fan. You can push it in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to push it. Can you smoke early? I, I could get punches. Smoke. Hmm. Uh, we just wait a bit. Can you smoke five? That's only the decision I had, nice. It's fine. Keep doing work, Phil. There's one guy left. Help! Get, you can get out, probably. Mm -hmm. 
Play it smart, bro. Yeah. Hide yeah. in the bushes. Use the bushes, yeah. yeah. Camouflage. You can get up top, dude. Don't. I'm taking a lot of time. Don't, don't die. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, don't die. Pull from behind somewhere. Shit, just get up, get up. Good round. Nice. Welcome back everybody, what a great tank that was played by Elusive. They actually got a wipe and very rarely is it that you see a wipe with that tank. He had some great support, they got a trike on the two cap at first and then the uh, smoker cleaned up the uh, scraps there. But great tank by Elusive and you wow, don't see a wipe. Soul tank is key. Soul tank is key. I know. Soul's flexing right now, he wants to hit his body so badly but he hasn't. Out of respect I'm for the other players, but yeah, he gets a wipe here in a spot that is usually a one or two header, I, maybe. Yeah, I know. I mean, an end cap is good on that tank, and the fact that he got a wipe, that's really yeah. Rare. One one end cap but, is not you know, it's probably about average, I guess. And his, because I mean, the run is so long for the tank just to be running, running right into the face of you know to push him all the way into the back of the safe room. I'm the one thing. I'm grabbing Jesus, no. But yeah, I mean, Hold great tank, kills. and I mean, the SI oh, support shit. landed well. That was really what yeah. sealed the deal there. And no doubt. I think maybe the the survivors not like looking hey, look at, at the tank and shooting the tank Where's while they're real? trying to escape. Oh, is, the, those Uzis really slow oh, down now we can a lot. Here we go. So well, up. I think it was a small error on the survivors' on part. They're not continually shooting the tank. We do have an account coming in. Boomer gets popped. Smoker lands on the back for a little bit. And that charger got focused down quickly, and that jockey got a couple ticks off on the Nick, but not too much damage. They're really about 10. Boomer gets popped early. That's pretty much the key for that attack. We do have that early tank, of course, so uh, when that spawns in, we'll take it away to a, a CTFO war room, which that just happened, so uh, let's take it away to their war room. Um. Why do you build me up? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could get a spawn back here with the charge. Let's hit, let's hit now. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Watch the push. They're gonna push you. Alright, good. Spawn back by the car. Just push in and support him at like 3k. Yeah. Alright. I can't get a spawn back right now. I'm going now? Yeah, uh, no. Yeah, no. I got full star. Oh, wow. He crashed. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Poor Nate. Shot. <laughs> Are you? He only has 1,900 health, so... I got coach. Three Two seconds, here we go. Nice. Oh my oh, god. god. <laughs> nice work. Hey guys. Okay. That's wow. unfortunate. <laughs> I'll come back, everybody. That's really unfortunate. Was I laughing at an inappropriate time? I'm sorry. I was laughing too, but I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, it's not funny, but it was too late, so... Yeah, poor um, Nate. Yeah, Nate disconnected he, like, there. He gets and... cornered by the team. You know, triple tap. Triple yeah. cap wins. Yeah. Team... What is the name? What are the initials of the teams? Uh, CTFO. Elusive and CTFO. I'm gonna have that... to ask them what that stands for, <laughs> CTFO. I shouldn't be laughing, but it was just... It was funny. <laughs> Because he, did, I mean, he disconnected at like the worst opportunity, and then Tank just, he's like, oh, a guy that's not moving, I'm just going to punch him down and make this easy for me. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't necessarily think that it's up to 
you know, the infected side's team there to pause it. It's, yeah. I mean, it just, I think it was just a matter of perfect timing for, for the SI there that they kind of got a lucky, uh, Lucky DC at the right time when their tank was pushing. Yeah, they did. So we're going into the map. We're going into map two here with the scores uh, 64 to 55 in favor of uh, Team CTFO. So oh, wait, we just have we have a shout out from from Nate to Jeff. You Niger. <laughs> I think uh, he was blaming Jeff's uh, announcement for giving him sound loop or something like that. No. <laughs> Rev putting up a sad face. So yeah, we have a uh, team CTFO up by ten points. Anybody's game still, and they are running up here. Looks like we're gonna see an insta hit with a boomer hunter, smoker, and spitter. So, um, not too good of a setup here. So. Looks like they're all gonna rush out at the same time. They're all piling on that door. Looks like. Yeah. Got and they got to hit. We have Boomer, Smoker, Jockey, and Spitter. And actually, spawning and getting kicked on yeah. The and here comes the rest of the survivors. The smoker is spawning up in front. He misses his pull. Rochelle gets boomed outside. The Boomer actually proxies onto all four, and the Smoker lands on Rochelle outside for a tick or two. Not too much, about 20 damage, but for the two and two they had, and considering the Spitter got uh, killed before the door even opened, pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Elusive showing some really creative boom of play up front here. Yeah. Getting a triple boom on the first uh, attack last time and a barf bag this time. We do have that smoker in back that's going to have to wait for a despawn, so uh, that might force Elusive to sit a little later than the like. Yeah, that's the problem with the, uh, the spawn in, in the fence area there, is that you can't really charge it. Uh, and we do have 100 respawn on the rake, so the attack's going to be coming in soon. Smoker's despawned, and he's looking for a spawn now. Survivors are just going to hold up there, kill the commons, and uh, beat that hit out as much as possible. Yep, they're pretty much set up. And here it comes. Smoker actually lands with 18 DP on the back. Jockey and Smoker both land on the uh, back for a little bit. Wow, so that's the most terrible play-by-play -play call I've ever done. <laughs> the, uh, said After jockey. that tongue twister there, yeah, yeah. That, what, what a pounce. Yeah, I said Smoker landed the DP, obviously it was the Hunter landed the DP, but what a great pounce on uh, Nick, I believe it had it was, to be so. either, yeah, FaZe or Smoke, so they pretty much have all the points. But shout out and to whoever did that DP. Do have we do have a uh, tank up. It's in the hands of Smudge for Team Elusive. Why don't we take this away to a survivor war this time? Smudge. Got you. Jockey, jockey, jockey. This is fast. Want me to pipe this? No, no, no. Oh, I can't clear that rock. I got him. Get that gas can, Tommy. I gotta shoot you. Yeah. I don't see it. He's buying the vents to yeah. the right. Yeah. See yeah. the yeah. vent things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just watch for hits, though. <laughs> Hit right now. Nice. Rock. <laughs> Wow. Fuck. Rock, watch out. Where's that gas can? It's right, you know, by the tree. Let's we'll start going back to the safe room. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna. Chip him, too. Oh my god. No, no. Oh, hold, hold, hold. Nice. No. I'm Jeff. A ton of common guys here. I'll block the apron. 
Tell me when he pushes. I'm slow somehow. He feels when he pushes. Get an ammo. Somebody cover him. Are you in the safe room? He's not losing rage. There's a hunter. Oh. Up. It's, it's coming in. I, I'll watch the tank. Reloading. You guys just watch us. I... Yep. Reloading. Good dodge on that charger. Are they sending it AI? Looks like No, it. he's dead. Oh, uh, oh wrong. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, we just relocated over there. Oh, huh, nice, nice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Change my underwear real quick. I can't skeet those. Hi, mom. Whoa. Hi. Yeah, throw it. Got him all. You wanna start pushing since he doesn't rock, have support? Rock, rock, rock. Oh my god. You wanna push forward since he doesn't have support? I'm I'm getting a ton of chip on him. You are? Right. Yeah. I'm a reload. But he's got rage from those rocks. I have I need ammo. Good pop. He's just trying to get this out of the way. Nick, you want pills? Reloading. Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. That one hurt. Watch another hit soon. Reloading. He's committing now. Where's that gas can? He can dodge that gas can easily. No, he can't. Say I. Say I. There we go. Hey, keep shooting. I'm doing it. Shoot out. Is that, is that, is that, where's that? Tree cap. Fourth one's going. Welcome back, everybody. What a long tank, we actually have an awesome little three cap there going on right now. Hunter's still on, and gets an end cap on the coach, actually. But that was a long tank played by Elusive there. They uh, got several rocks in on um, Team CTFO, and they were able to keep sight pretty well without um, taking too much ship, so. Extremely good tanking by Smudge and Frank. And I like that spot over on the bathroom. I haven't seen they just that too rocked much really. rocked and rocked and rocked. Lobbed rocks in there for what seemed like three or four minutes. I mean, so excellent tanking. If you take a look at the survivor's health right now, they're pretty low at this point. They're all bleeding. There's only two on permanent health. The other two are on full temporary. And, I mean... It's gonna, they're going to be pretty hard-pressed to make this stage. Yeah, usually that tank, you know, is kind of hit or miss. Yeah, they take it in front of the bathrooms by the tree, yeah, which is where they start to take it in. We do have another attack coming in. The jockey lands momentarily. The smoker lands in back. The charger comes in for a missy charge and misses, but he's getting a lot of fists under Rochelle. A couple of fists there under her. Pretty good attack, about 40 damage. Not bad. Yeah, this is starting to look a lot like a ladder wipe. Yeah, that's what I was gonna. I was about to say. It looks like they're wiping ladder at this point, probably with their current. I mean, health. they're gonna get. I mean, since they're limping, I think uh, SI are gonna get one and maybe even two hits before the ladder. But I think it's gonna chip them out. And it looks like Elusive is setting up for another quick hit. They're getting ready to come in right here. The spitters pre spawn on top on the roof. Hunter's pre spawn on the roof. He's jumping around looking um, to come in. And the survivors are really hoarded right now. They could have gone with that, but they let them get back inside. So I would have liked the loop to see Elusive attack a little earlier there, probably when the survivors were hoarded. Yeah, they're trying to, like, everyone's spawn trying to get a distract for this boomer here. 
Yeah, but hopefully he goes yeah. before his smoker gets picked. And here it comes the boomer in comes in on back. He lands on the one. Hunter coming in for deep. He lands twenty on the monkey. Spit goes in on the. Pass. That was uh, so stars. That was a lot of damage. Um, most of it went on the monkey with the DP, and the other caps landed as well, so... Yeah, it gets that nice uh, curve pounce off the roof there. Landing on monkey for the 20 ball. And CTFO's got to be very careful here. They have two survivors at one health, so if they just get tapped by a common behind or something, they're going to go down, so they have to be very careful here. And yeah, there goes the hunter for scratches. He uncaps for shell and backs away. And here comes the rest of the attack. The hunter gets cleared. The spitter comes in and pre spits onto Nick, who actually goes down as well. And the jockey and charger both coming in. Jockey lands and charges going to punch it. Gets a charge under uh, coach. We still have one survivor left up who's going to be able to get these pickups. They got a literal triple cap here with three survivors in cap. <laughs> yeah, they did. They started off with the shard, or sorry, the uh, hunter scratch, and then they just kind of went in with the rest. Yeah, I'm curious to see if they actually hold on to spawns here for the ladder, or if they just say, "Fuck it, we're doing it live." I think. And I think they might just do that. I think they might just do that. Actually, I mean, they're all below 25 health or so. They're all slow. This next attack should be a white, probably. Yeah, it looks like they're lining up on top of them here, so they're not even going to wait for the uh, classic attack. And I, 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 I kind of like this one. There's no reason to do that for the extra hit. Maybe even just wipe him right away. We do have one player dead. Monkey is dead. The other three survivors look like they're going to make it through that attack, though, and be able to uh, move up the ladder. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, even know why I smoke here. What, what that smoker is doing there. Or maybe he had already smoked and he was like waiting for some time to recharge, so he sacked it. They didn't have any pills in there. The next time they get them is um, in the room after the drop, which I don't think they're going to make it to. Here comes an attack. Charger kills Coach. Jockey coming in, scratches Nick down. Charger finishes uh, Ellis off with a punch. So that's the end of the round. Elusive, or sorry, um, CTFO manages 281 points of completion, increasing their total score to 345. So um, this is Elusive's opportunity to make a, well, not really a big comeback since they were only 10 points down, but to take the lead. Yeah, I expect them to kill this tank a lot cleaner. Yeah, I would probably expect that as well, but have to wait and see what happens. Any good? Yeah, I think, I think maybe the survivors, you know, retreated to this corner a little bit too early. I mean, they certainly get, you know, they got boomed and they got pushed back by Common, but there was no hittable coming in at them, so I, I don't know why they cornered themselves so quickly. Bullshit! God damn! Bullshit! Just to uh, do a quick recap, if anybody's joining us recently, um, this is a Fuck It, We'll Do a Live tournament weekend matchup. This is round one. Um, this is CTFO versus Team Elusive, and we're on map two here now. Both teams wiped on the uh, first round, and CTFO, um, sorry, Elusive, yeah, CTFO just wiped on um, Survivor on map two. And it's now Elusive's turn to play Survivor, uh, so we'll see if they can do better with it. Yeah, so, yeah. We're in the second Ooh, half of like the second map. Map. Yeah, we're in the second half of the second map, and the, uh, right. and the game is going live here. That first attack so is, of course, the same. It's the Smoker, Boomer, Hunter, and Spitter, so it's a two-cap. Um, not a lot of damage possible here, really, but, um, I mean, if something happens, they could get some big damage. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if we see 100 damage here, that would be, like, yeah, no, that would be, be like, a huge amount. But typically we'll see about 20. And here come the survivor to Boomer. Prox is on the one from above. The smoker lands and gets cleared quickly. Hunter lands for a second and gets cleared. And the spit is going to go in onto Nick. He's actually holding Nick, he's quite in. a bit of damage. He did finally get out. He took about 30 damage from that spit, though. So mm -hmm. that, attack turned total? To, yeah, that attack turned from nothing into pretty good. So Just because... Yeah, Nick got caught up a little bit. He tri yeah. tripped on some con and Reloading. ate some spit. All it takes is a few commons to make an attack awesome. All these signs are making me hungry. As far as they're moving forward quickly, picking up that HR and ammo at the table there. 
Our next attack is up. It's the jockey, smoker, boomer, and a hunter. And it looks like they're gonna wait until the entrance to the um, warehouse here. Yep. They have the three, three cap with the boomer here. Jockey, smoker, hunter, boomer. I mean, my preference is definitely to go boomer first here and get the get that boomer out of the way so he doesn't Reloading. knock a capper off. We have soul star but they're the like front. really cautiously going through this joke. They they don't want to get boomed here. They're pretty wary of it. Yeah, they don't. And all of them are looking right up at the at the boomer spawn. I think they're just gonna hold it. Reloading. They're trying to bait out some spawns, but nobody's spawning in, so um, they're actually all the way in the warehouse now, so looks like they're going to wait a little longer. Looks like they're saving for tank at this point, probably. We do have a natural horde set to come in in about 10 seconds, so... I think well, they're probably... SIR is not set up at all for an inside the warehouse hit, and the tank is up. The tank is up, it did spawn into Bionic's hands. Let's do this attack and we'll take it away to a war room. The boomer gets popped and doesn't get anything. Smoker spawning in behind the fence gets a little quick once smoke. and there's a little bit of a momentary two cap and the smoker does finally get cleared. Let's take this away to a CTFO war room. <laughs> oh nice. What, who's there, HR? Yeah, coach, 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 coach. You guys want to go for a hit? Yeah, get, 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 get a hit as soon as you can. You guys ready? Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Go for it, go for it now. Go. Ah, uh, shit. You're hitting the trees. There's I'll see here. Here's, they pretty much got the same attack here with the coach getting See, this tank really needs to drop down during this period and get himself a hit up Oh, um, I meant to go to Elusive War Room, so I just wanted to uh, say that quick video. We're going to be going over to Elusive War Room. We'll uh, be there for the duration of this tank, so go and take it away there. How much? I'm, like, I'm getting a lot. I need ammo. I see There's pills up front at the right. Okay. Just get later. Watch this, boomers. Charger. Pull. He's getting a head of him. No. Oh. I'm grabbing him real quick. Can we all them? I'm a little behind, by the way. The face got me. Let's push so. back out with tank guns. So it's bad. Let's get back out. It's really bad. Easy trip right now. Fucking thanks for coming on me. Yeah, not bad. You for real. Welcome back everybody. We saw uh, Team CTFO's tank right there. They tried to do a similar strategy to what uh, Team Elusive did, and they did pretty well with it. They managed a full end cap onto Nick. I think they landed a couple rocks.
Um, but Team Elusive still is in pretty good health right here, a lot better than CTFO was at this point, and uh, they should be able to make this map. Yeah, I think Everybody the glaring away. difference between the two tanks was that um, the survivors held their ground at the tree and didn't corner themselves in the back. And they just continuously... Smoker lands on the back, so Boomer lands on a couple in the back. And smoke or Spitter goes in for a delay in the middle there. Charger, I think they also had a Charger who got focused down quickly without getting anything, so... Reloading! Reloading! Reload. Yeah, so I expect to see. Holy see some shit, guys! Kitty land! I, I don't know if they're gonna get the charger happen. back or not. Uh, yeah, charger died second, I think. So they're, they're the gonna get a charger right there. They got hunter, jockey, spitter, and smoker. So I expect the hunter to be sacked immediately. Getting and they're all, late, though. Yeah, they're all going up to the ladder. It looks like so. It looks like they're saving it at this point. Not the greatest setup in the world you would want for this ladder, but um, it is a three cap, so. Reloading. Coach baiting on the ladder there, actually got all the specials to spawn in, so can position, find out what they have. Yeah, they know they're not up against the charger right now, so uh, yeah. pretty sure they're, they should send up, like, everyone at the same time. I mean, there's no reason not to. Trying to just send one up, get, get spot trouble. They do have a spitter up though, so if he gets some big stumbles in that spit, that could be bad. Smoker lands on the nick on top, and he gets uh, cleared through the floor though. Jockey's coming in to try to get nick, and he does land on him, but he gets cleared on the uh, ladder as well. Hunter finally lands on the nick as well, and the spit goes in and on the hunt, but um, he's out of it with no damage really. So, I mean, nick had no health bonus to start with, and he was the only one that took any damage there at all, and it wasn't very much, so. Yeah, very well played. Very well played. Yeah, I, it was a good uh, floor clears by Team Elusive there to uh, clear him through the floor several times. Yeah, well, I mean, he got off a key dead stop on the jockey, mm -hmm. too, so... Reloading. Reloading. Elusive is making quick distance Reloading. here. They're already all the way over to the stairs. And right. trying to all four goes through. Jockey got cleared already. Man, a late charger is yeah. gonna leave them without the charger for the next Yeah, time. charger died last, and uh, that was pretty dis. Wow, yeah, the attack. It was, it was pretty much a fail. Yeah, this, I mean bit, they it just all spawned in behind the popcorn stand or behind the hot dog stand. The uh, survivors just retreated, and they got nothing at all. Uh, yeah, they got a tick on the smoker. Just, uh, pretty much shut down. Team Elusive is really hoarded up here at the start of this event, so um, but they might attack them this morning. Good. Looks like they're going to wait until the just second. Yeah, this is a pretty good health bonus. We're going to ship it out. The hunter comes in and gets a spit in onto the hunt. Ellis is just swimming in that spit. I don't know what took him so long to get out. <laughs> what a battle between uh, the jockey and, and Nick there. Nick eventually Dead stop and clear. But if he got started to get taken away, it would have spelled trouble for him for sure. And the Leafs have actually lost about 150 health bonus on that attack. From I mean, Ellis was just swimming in the spit. He was green and he's yellow now. We have another attack coming in. Boomer lands on the one, and the other three are still looking for spawns at this point. Smokers on the roof trying to get somebody to <laughs> actually hit by that small attack on back there. Charger lands on the one and gets cleared pretty quickly. And that spit goes in and on the charge here and he is hoarded so he's probably gonna go down right there. And he does. Again it was on the uh, phase though and he had no um yeah. I'm health, so no health bonus on him. Uh yeah, I mean good hit except that he really just tends to keep landing on one guy, the one that they don't need to hit. Yeah. And phase actually is black and white, but they're pushing into the safe room right now, so Shell's pretty hoarded. We have a boomer that comes on to him back. Charger's going in and gets leveled by Ellis. Yeah, he goes gets in for the way to do it. Nick getting stuck in the again, and he actually almost died, but uh, the attacks are down. He's going to be able to Isn't he black and white? Yeah, What's he he's doing on Simon's here. He got blocked by Spitz. So Playing the hero. 
So Elusive manages a bonus of 192 on that round, increasing their total to 747, about 600 points ahead of uh, Team CTFO. Uh, I want to say closer to 400. 400 points. Oh my god, I can't add. How did I pass school? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess if I had to say one thing for to the SI, is like, pick your... Like, like, while you're playing, make sure to call out which which players have the the most health bonus so that you can pick your targets a little bit more wisely. Why couldn't I have been in Vegas? So going into map three here we have um, Elusive playing Survivor first as they are about four hundred points over uh, CTFO's score. And being map three there's not really a whole lot of um, opportunity to make up points in this, especially if you have the coaster tank, so um, Well if they have early tank then yeah. Yeah. Which I'm really hoping for here, because I if, think it uh, makes the game more exciting. But I mean, seeing a good uh, tank defense, you know, seeing a team work their way through coaster tank and actually making it is also interesting too. It just usually doesn't happen too often. Yeah, I'd like to see an earlier tank here. That's going to be see a TFO's big opportunity to make a comeback here. There's also oh, a big opportunity for comeback on map 4 as well, and I think according to um, these tournament rules, I'm pretty sure the Shogun is not allowed by this tournament, so um, that kind of takes that element of gameplay out of it. So, Yeah, that's correct. No, no mustachio in this tournament. What the... Oh. Yeah, somebody We're gonna need these. these. Our first uh, attack for Team CTFO is the Smoker, Hunter, Charger, and a Boomer, so um, pretty good setup. They would probably rather have a Spitter for this as they have a Charge and it's pretty close uh, quarters areas, but potential for a lot of damage still. Elusive is of course taking their time baiting out all those commons. It looks like um, where our infected are set up as a head, we got a couple ahead, a couple behind. It looks like they might be going for an insta hit here, and here they come in. Boomer's getting stuck and he gets popped. Smoker lands on the back and the charge is going from this onto the smoke. There's a lot of damage going on on the coach right there. About 50 damage onto coach. Wow. Yep, monkey going fist city there. Getting three punches in on the smoke victim. Yeah, it's a pretty common, it's a pretty standard attack you see a lot now. I see that all the time now is if you get a smoker and a charger, they'll insta spawn in the safe room, smoke back one guy and just punch the shit out of the smoked guy, so. Yep. I mean, if you don't have the spitter, if you have like Boomer or Smoker Charger, then we do have another attacking the, best, the, the Boomer comes in in front and actually doesn't get anything. The Charger comes in behind and misses. The Hunter's coming in as well and lands on the Smudge, and the Spit goes in and uh, misses everything. So not too much damage there, really. Reloading. Yeah, a little bit of uh, I don't know bad I'm timing. Or, I don't want to say sure. like not not getting the scans on. I like the idea, uh, Team Elusive was really hard there, there was a lot of commons that just pushed straight into it, but, I mean, the SA got cleared pretty effortlessly. Okay, what do we have here? Boomer, Smoker, Charger, and Spitter. And we do have a tank that is spawned into the hands of Bionic for Team CTFO. Why don't we take this away to a uh, CTFO war room? Dude, I don't want to play this fucking tank. I hate this area. All right, pass it. <laughs> I just want to make sure we have a three cap when we commit it. No, that's cool. I'm just gonna run around and make a lot of noise. Oh wait, we're sacking the tank, right? Yeah. This one. All right. Yeah. Tank sack is a go. Reloading. All right. All right. Go monkey. ahead. Go ahead. Do you have a spawn? Reloading. Yes. All right. I'm Seven, gonna... three, two, no. going. We don't need a spawn for tank tank. Or no three. Alright, let's go. Oh! No! Tank's back on this work. Aww. One more. That's the first time I've ever landed a hunter in this area. 
Did I say that out loud? Yeah. Kinda did. Try to stay alive push, for, push. No, for our spawn, so... Try and stay alive, he just came up for a rock. I'm just gonna try to get a curve rock. But Don't let him get any more up if we can. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah let's, let's go. Let's go. I got Rochelle. Welcome back everybody, what a great tank played by Seam, Team CTFO, and a surprising amount of damage there, there's three survivors, you got three full cap. Take Honestly, the, the way that the tank went in there, throwing, jumping in, throwing a rock at the beginning, and then not not clearing survivors off the top and going after the one on the bottom, I thought he was going to get nothing, but he ends up locking up. Ellis very effectively smashing them all around the maintenance room there while his triple cap lands. What a tank, what a tank. And the, the support landed again, the, all the support yep. landed, so that was really helpful there. I think that was a monkey tank, I guess, because he's got 200. And we so do have shout our out to Monkey for that nice <laughs> thing. <laughs> we do have our next spawn cycle up. It's a Charger, Jockey, Smoker, and a Spitter, and here it comes. Smoker drops in above him, man. Jockey's jumping around trying to get something to be cleared out quickly. And the charge right and see what happens. He's got focus quickly, but I don't think any damage there, really. I think they were basking on the glory of that excellent tank and just missed the hit. Yeah. Might be a little excited after that tank. Uh, but I mean, as it is, that tank did an incredible amount of damage and it's going to make it pretty much uh, almost impossible for Elusive to make it through the stage. And they do have a really good setup for this, but it looks like they're coming in with it anyway. Smoker lands on the back of this quickly. Jockey lands gets cleared quickly, and that Charger gets focused down easily as well. Jockey's still on, he's riding away. Yeah. The uh, Chargers are getting focused down really quickly every time. I mean, I, I still agree with the call. Even, in my opinion, waiting and giving weak survivors. Uh, ground when you can be hitting them. I mean, all these guys are limping, bleeding out. I mean, they're in rough shape. Even if you don't get the perfect hit on the coaster, they do have a good but amount they still of health. Have a good, have a good hit. It's coming up. Reloading right. here. A boomer lands on the one. Looks like he's just sacking that. And the survivors are still all fast here uh, for the time being. So if they, if they can make it through this uh, first choke point on the coaster relatively unscathed, this should be set up for some good distance. Possibly yeah, they have able to make it. Spitter, Smoker, Charger. They probably will get a jockey here for the top, so they're going to end up getting what they wanted. So they pretty much got a free hit there where the pills were. They have that Smoker pre I don't know, they're holding on to this. Yeah. And Smudge is all around the corner there, and the charge finally does come in. He misses everything. Hunter's coming in for Smudge, and gets dead stop, and he finally lands on the Smudge, and the Spit goes in. And on the Michael down here, he's surrounded. Yep, and there he goes. Yeah, and we got a hang pull on to the shell, so two impacts there. And so they, they need to get up Nick here first. Yeah. He attacks down that smoker. Still Ellis charging. has to get up there and, and get Nick up. Smoker's gonna get another pull off. Oh, and he actually cuts the cut the great on. What a play. And then he gets pulled off right there. Yeah, why, so why go for shell first? Too. Jockey is coming in looking for that last cap, but he gets dead stopped and killed. A lot of clutching, oh, but it's too little too late, I think. So. Yeah. I mean, in that situation, you have Nick down, and he's in a spot where the smoker can't bother you, so I think get Nick up first, question mark. So, Team Elusive wipes on map 3, managing 351 points of completion, increasing their score to 1,098. So, if uh, Team CTFO can handle this tank better, they uh, should be able to take the lead. Yeah, all they really need to do is get to the safe room, and if they do that, they'll They'll definitely be in good shape. They'll be about tied, even if they have like even 150 health bonus. But this map, this map, mm. it's pretty they, hard to make it. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they have that tank to worry about, and I mean the first attack of that coaster is pretty much always brutal. But I mean if you can successfully shut down that attack at the coaster, and if they handle the tank well, I mean they could be in position to take the lead. Yeah, Just the, ma the maintenance them. room is a really good spot for the survivors usually it's usually it's a good place to defend against the tank but 
wow, that triple cap, you know? So we'll see what happens <laughs> here. Boomer actually already spawned in, and Fred and is, uh, or no, sorry, it's the hunter. Oh wow, it's been like, I'm not doing things, I thought I was doing things, but uh, the Boomer did spawn in and got cleared <laughs> before the door was ever open. Through the door. And what? it looks like the Smoker and the Charger are going to be setting up in the safe room when they leave for a similar type attack as uh, Team Elusive did. Yeah, it was clearly a Boomer side, so I was pointing out here. They didn't like their 2-2, two -two, so... They swapped out the boomer for what did he get? He's got the spitter now. So. No, I think they had spitter, so I think they got a hunter out of it. Well, I'm saying red was spitter. Red, can you spectate for me, please? Thank you. Reloading. Reloading. Looks like elusive is gonna wait a little bit longer here to attack until this opening, or maybe even out in the hallway. It looks like they're gonna attack at the opening though, as that one was already pre-spawned right there at the corner. Yeah, I think when someone comes out, they're gonna pull forward and then uh, go for their charge speed. And, and here the comes that attack. Smoker lands, Charger lands, Trip and Hunter lands. Land. In the split. Hunter and, and Shell are still right there. Yeah. Wow, a lot of Very damage. Nice Almost 100 damage from one attack. Reloading! Don't make me get up. Reloading! 98 damage. Wasn't really expecting that. I mean, it like it was going to get cleared relatively quickly, but I did not Everything landed. Yeah, I kind of saw it forming from the smoker's perspective, and uh... that boomer spawns in instantly as soon as he had his spawn available. He lands a boom on to one. The other three are still um, waiting to spawn at this point. Looks like they were sacking again for another spitter. I don't know why it's tanks spinning up right here. I, I think they just went with. Uh... Hey, just want the boomer. hey Bieber, will you respect this? Yeah, I think uh, the boomer is just going to slow them down a little bit. They did get a splitter as a replacement for that boomer. We do have that tank that's going to spawn up here pretty soon, I think, as soon as the survivors go up onto the catwalk. So, I mean, they probably should have kept that boomer and ditched that splitter instead. But. Uh, well, uh, well, what I think they're going to do is have a full attack here when the, when the I tank they, spawns. I don't think they actually have to go into the room, though. I think it spawns, like, when they're on the catwalk. Here, so I mean, they might have to go all the way in. I don't think so, though. And it spawned, and they uh, didn't... I mean, they got out of the room without anything, so that attack just comes through the door and gets focused quickly, so. This is Hunter AI. I'm yeah, against Nate. Uh, the tank has spawned up in the hands of Nate. Oh, let's take this away uh, to Elusive's war room. Huh. Look at this shit. <laughs> Don't kill him. He might I know. Do you want me to go in, or? Well, let's see what it is. Uh, can you go, boom? I can try. They have everything covered perfectly. Yeah, spot on the That's a shitty ass spot. Why'd you spawn? Oh, you passed there. We have two hunters. <laughs> Nate, yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. We have two hunters. Three hunters. Three hunters. <laughs> oh my god. Can I come in with this, please? Don't, don't <laughs> say anything. Don't say anything. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna roll us in. Hold on, wait, wait. Hang on, wait, three seconds. Alright. Go in, go in. Go. I'm getting cartridge. Ready? Thank you. Yeah. Let's go. Get him down. Stay out, cool. Yep, I'm just gonna play it right here. Yeah. Oh, my house. Break that door, please. Don't, I wanna get, like, don't, don't break thing. the door. Watch out. Uh, ready? Go ahead. Okay. Wait, 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 Welcome back. 
great tank played by a team elusive there. There was some similar. really comedic uh, spawns yeah. there. There was an AI hunter that was like harassing the, the tank the whole time, and then all of a sudden, multiple hunters spawned up. Wow, that was. Yeah, kind of I don't funny. know. If, I don't know if the camera caught that at all, but there was like three hunters playing around in the room up there. One of them was aggroed on the tank, and then the other two were players. So I don't know how. Human players got two hunters, but they actually had a three hunter spawn in for a little bit there. Was pretty yeah, totally crazy push. The survivors have pushed down uh, through the air conditioning vent, and they're extremely hoarded right now. It looks like that attack's going to come in with that. And they're actually I think they're just going to wait. Reloading. I think that boom, the spawns are going to wait for that. Wait for the boom. hole there, yeah. yeah. He's waiting like for them to come to the hole. He's going to drop it. I think they could have gone when um, they were really hoarded there and got a good attack. Ooh, here comes another one. If the boomer jumps down, he's going to pass, so we're just going to wait. Yeah. Boomer, first survivor, so we in the hole. Reloading. Trying to wall clear the boomer, well, floor clear actually. And the hunter's pre spawned ahead. The boomer is looking for an opportunity to jump down. Hunter comes in and lands. Charger lands him back for a lot of damage. Repounds. Repounds on the hit for even more damage. Almost a tri cap there, but uh, able to dead stop that hunter before. Well, survivors are in pretty rough shape, so. I mean, yeah. it's. It's warming up to be another wipe on the top of the uh, coaster here. Reloading. Looks like it's coming down to map four. Surprise, surprise. We do have another attack coming in. Boomer lands onto two for free. Charger lands into one and is going in on the charge. Jockey is landed on their shell and she's going to take her around the corner. Two survivors are down to three survivors oh, down. Oh, wow, it's all down as well for a wipe. Wow. What a hit. <laughs> they all got trapped in and just went down. Still, the uh, difference in scores is about 90 points. Both yeah. Teams. That last second hit before the pills. <laughs> Good job getting that team, double boom. Uh, team CTFO actually got about 100 points less there than Elusive did, so Elusive is now almost um, 500 points ahead. So, Still, that's a, a reasonable amount to be able to come back in map 4. No doubt, clutching it on this map can it can really make a gigantic difference. Um, are we playing finale on this? Uh, we probably are, since it's not broken. Don't take leave your senses. So yeah, I'm still kind of on the fence about this rule, about yeah. no mustachio. I kind of like the idea because a lot of the times the mustachio, I mean, it's just like a free wipe, and that makes map four pretty much not an issue. I mean, but at the same uh, time, I don't know about that. I mean, I've seen a lot of strategies on how to deal with the mustachio thing, and I mean, it it is part of the whole amusement park, so. I don't know, eliminating it from the game Yeah. is... I, I mean, it, it, is, it is a part of the map, but I mean, at the same time, it's kind of well, the same what thing. I see, with how what I tend to see is that people like to eliminate parts of the game that increase the volatility and increase the wipes. And, I mean, in Dark Carnival, it's usually one of the hardest maps to, to get wipes on. I mean, it, this game has kind of been an exception since we've seen wipe after wipe. I'm reloading. I mean, usually on map three, it's, you know, it's tough to get to the safe room, but... And Team Elusive is pushing out. The Hunter has pre-spawned on top of the diner. The Boomer spawned in behind the pole and gets popped there. Hunter's coming in looking for DP land short. Smoker gets cleared before he can do anything, and the Spitter is going to spit into the path for a delay. So, not a single point what a damage there. Yeah. Look out. I mean, in their defense... <laughs> Pros are at 100. <laughs> it, wasn't a, it wasn't a good setup, but... They didn't really come in together either, and this could be fun. I mean, the boomer just spawned right out in the open and got popped. Reloading. Yep. Shut down city. Got a witch up. 
She is right in the small room past the bumper cars. I think that's Nick a... I think Nick spotted her already. Yeah. That's a good place for a witch. I mean they're gonna I mean good place Yeah, they should put the hunter that. on her instead of the jockey because he can and do she's the same aggro, jobs. She's actually going there she comes. I don't like how the infected aren't coming in with the witch. And there they do come in finally now. Witch gets clearly killed and the jockey gets killed quickly. Smoker getting a pull and the hunter gets dead stopped repeatedly. So Wow, yeah, the hunter had set up on the rooftop and got in kind of late. I think, I, yeah, I think they needed to support that witch a bit earlier, so I mean, she had a chance to get somebody, but they just let the survivors focus by the witch for a good three, four seconds before they, they started to commit. Reloading. Survivors taking a bit of common shift. They got pretty hoarded there as they're running forward, but um, they're yeah, another clear now. Really nice hit here. For this area, I think. it's a two cap, but it's a strong one. The boomer gets popped without getting anything. So yeah, there's a really nice spawn for the boomer on top of that little hut that they were right next to. On the side, the, like... the rest of the attack just coming in there and getting uh, focused down easily. So no damage there either. Yeah, he went. He went for one of those. Uh, those like rocket uh, double jump boomers. This is not looking good for Team uh, CTFO at this point. They're going to need a lot of damage with the tank if they want to keep in this. I mean, Elusive yep. is still sitting at Health almost bonus. 1,300, so that's huge. Fat. And I mean, it's room tank, so I mean, they're going to need a lot of help and a little bit of luck with that tank. Yep, they're really taking their time. On these roofs, nobody wants to get charged off here. Coach is creeping forward, ghosting. He just took another spawn point from SI. I think, I think they're really waiting for tank music, and I think that's what they're trying to do here. Bastards. Rochelle's really separating the back there if we got a smoking on there, but... The tank has spawned up, the attack is coming in. Charger getting a lot of punches, and the charge onto um, Coach in the bottom, he gets leveled. And the jockey's jumping around looking for a despawn at this point. Yep, got his two punches in. Well, let's take this away to a CTFO war room while this tank moves in. Yeah. Drop it right on top. No, no, no. Should I go? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll have a spawn at this time. Oh, plan go. Plan B. Alrighty. Let's go. Go ahead. No, no, no. Now. I got Soul Star. Smoker's gonna get a pull really fast. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. That was just uh, CTFO's tank we just saw there. They did a pretty good amount of damage for the room, considering the area. Um, Elusive's health bone is still sitting at 900 points, so so that's Somebody really large. That clown. Yeah, he he uh, on the way in. He, he I don't know if he lagged or something. I but think every everyone unloaded on him <laughs> well, at least one clip at the beginning there. I think he was kind of getting stuck on the tables or on I'm the pole, maybe, but I'm not exactly sure what happened. But he did get stuck, and like he stopped moving there for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, and we do have an attack coming in. The smoker got popped. Ooh, what a double charge. Charge. Nice double in the corner, though, and still uh, finally gets laid there. Wow, if he had if he had waited and spit on the charge, he would have made a double yeah, up in the corner there, probably. I mean, as it is, that was still a lot of damage from that charge. It took 150 points off of Luke's health bonus, so... Yeah, I got their health bonus up in around 500 right now. 656. The uh, spectator head's not quite accurate, so... Yeah, I think they just... Hey, I'm We do have another attack here up, and the gate has just opened, so Elusive is starting to move forward now. Yeah, we usually so, see the boomer come over the rail here when they get yeah. close enough. They have a three-cap. Oh, it gets popped. 
the rest of the attack coming in. Smoker lands on back and getting a lot of punches in on the smoker. That's a lot of damage going into Ellis right there. He did have health bonus. Um, Elusive lost another 100 points off their health bonus right there, so they're sitting at 550 right now. They might be able to push it into the safe room before any further attacks. Um, if they do, they have around 500 health bonus, which is pretty good for the stage, but it's about average, I would say. Could be more, could be less. Yeah, the charger going for punches there. Uh, maybe if you charge forward. Coach is getting stuck into this bit and he finally gets out of the boat. Chips out with a little more health bonus there. Elusive manages 412 health bonus on stage four. Yeah, 420. Woo! Everyone break out your pipes. 420. Shout out to Shark, Soul Star for the 420 bonus. <laughs> So, uh, CTFO is going to need about a 900 point bonus to bring this match to a tie and more to take the lead, so... I do believe we're playing Finale, so they have that opportunity to come back as well. But they're going to want to make up some distance here to uh, make Finale more reasonable. Yeah, yeah, if they... I don't know, they, they at least have to match that health bonus for two, maybe. Come on, girl. To keep this oh, stay in the match. Which means basically getting through this whole first part in the Witch Queen. Lee. We do have Smudge who's away um, taking a little break to use the restroom, I guess. I don't know, but... Yeah, we saw at the end of the, of the map, we saw that uh, combination again with the smoke recharger getting getting the punches there. Yeah, we're seeing but, that um, several times this game. The smoke recharger getting a lot of uh, combinations there, punches for a lot of damage. Yeah, but I think maybe if he had like punched Ellis twice and then just curled around uh, the, the fence there and got his charge off. Because I mean, you do you do want to get damage, but you you know you also want to cover that smoke. Maybe if he gets a double charge away from it, and it could it could players, lead to a wipe, you know. Yeah, and all of our players have readied up. The match is going live here. And our first attack is of course the same. It's a two and two. The hunter and smoker. Yeah, we'll see if the boost actually pulls off a boom here. I'd kind of like to see the boomer rocket off the roof there where he's at instead of kind of yeah, spawning on the ground. That's what it's he's warming up to do. Let's see who, who's holding the boomer. It's Nate. I like the smoker spawn up there behind the hedge. Yeah, that's kind of a tricky spawn. It usually actually does get a spawn. Reloading! Yeah, and CTFO working uh, on clearing commons, moving up forward pretty slowly. The hunter is actually pre-spawned over on the diner there, and the survivors retreating in the safe room. Dixieland diner. <laughs> <laughs> Boomer oh, comes in. Looking. He lands on the two. Hunter coming in looking for a pound. Smoker lands on the two quickly. Oh boy. Coach got stuck in the spit, or I mean, Alice got stuck in the spit for a little bit. Reload. Reloading. Can we I mean. When you have that, you know, two cap with the boomer, and the boomer gets two, the smoker picked up one of the greens, which was perfect. But Hunter really needed to cover coach. We do have that witch that's up in the hallway right ahead. It looks like they're running for a, a draw, but backing away now. Our attack for the witch is a boomer jockey, smoker, and a spitter who is uh, spitting for a delay in the doorway, it looks like. And that witch is pissed, so... Yeah, that spitter's not gonna let up on her either. Looks like smoker's gonna take the place of the spitter and keep some aggro on the witch, probably. I actually think, yeah, that's Nick's and, then, and here comes the attack on the witch. Nice, nice draw crown. Nice draw crown by Wit or Nick, by which she uh, shot herself. Oh, bad bionic. <laughs> Shout out to Bionic for uh, pro draw crown. Yeah, that was a, that was a nice draw crown. Reloading. And CTFO is still sitting at. 1300 health bonus, which is, I mean, pretty much identical to what Elusive was at this point. If they can shut down this next attack at the entrance here, and then... See the boomer where he's going up on there? 
It, I mean, you can't really see it. But he's got a really nice boom spot. He's got those uh, signs for cover up there. And that's uh, pretty much the difference between the two booms that we saw. One was uh, double jump boom that got popped, and the other one was an easy boom Reloaded. from the rooftop where he gets one and slows down and survives. Reloading here! Look out! The rest of the attack was cleared pretty handily. Um, CTFO still sitting at 12.44 bonus, so they have a lot of bonus here if they can handle the tank well. Yep. They are Both in positions. Got to this point about the same health bonus. Yeah. So. I mean, we'll see how they position. handle this. They're in a good position to make a comeback if, I mean, if they can handle that tank well. And we do have another attack coming in. The Charger lands on the Nick outside. Hunter lands a nice little intercept for a little bit of a two-cap. And that smoker... That was just, possibly uh, a little bit rushed roofs. on that attack. I mean, he, the Charger did get his charge off and got a little bit of damage. I think it was maybe a product of, you know, them not doing a lot of damage yet so far, so there's a little bit of a frustration charge. Mm, possibly, yeah. And because, we do have... Yeah, I mean, they really wanted to have a hit right at this moment here when the survivors are running back. And that attack was easily shut down as well. Um, the tank has spawned up into the hands of Soulstar. And he's coming in from the back, looks like, and now going onto the roof instead, I guess. Let's take this... Let's take this away to an elusive war room while they figure out what they want to do. Go, go. Do you want me to try for this boom right now? Try it. We have time. Oh, nice. You got time. Just commit at like 15. I'll have a spawn up right when you need to commit. Let's go. <laughs> I got him. Nice, nice. Good you can stay alive. Okay. Oh, shit. Nice, nice multi. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. What a great tank played by Team Elusive. They managed to end cap with the tank, and then two survivors are very low on their permanent health. He only yes. had about a thousand health left, and he went for the other two survivors, um, but they were really hoarded, so that helped out a lot. Yeah, I was surprised that they got the boomer back there after sacking the boomer, but they did. And managed to get a triple boomer, that's so not bad. Lots of damage. Health bonus is sitting at just the point. Charger getting a couple punches there and on the spit. And Team CTFO's bonus is already about 10 points less than what Elusive finished with. So, I mean, at this point, it's just about preserving that health bonus as much as possible. They want to keep this game as close as they can. And I mean, they can still come back on the finale if it's possible, but it's going to be going to be hard for them. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of like jumping in front of all the survivors and joining the rock. But we've seen it happen a couple times in this match already. Kind of a gamble. I guess if you hit the rock, then you're setting yourself up. But when it misses, it seems like you just give away half your life. We did just see another attack come in there. It was a 2 and 2, not too much damage happening. Um, but the survivor's health bonus is bleeding out. They're down to 300 now, and they do still have the horde to run through to the safe room. So, I mean, they might. It's looking like they might not make it at this point. Yeah, I give them a 50-50 shot of making it. And the attack is getting ready to come in. Hunter's pre-spawning behind, looking for a damage bonus probably. And he's going really high, getting yeah. out of it. But getting he missed down though. Charger spawning in the front. Smoker lands a nice little pull on the back. Hunter gets dead off the kill. Charger lands on the front. Spit in on the charge. The shell is going to be Somebody needs to get to that safe room and try to stop this horde. Yeah. They have 156 health bonus still. That'll come up a little bit if they can pick Rochelle up. 
Um, and Coach managed to get hard. there and stop the hole. Survivors are at one way to help us now. Coach is sitting in the safe room with his little bit of problem we have. Hunter lands on the shot side, Jockey lands on Ellis side, and he is down. Hunter is Nick still is on the shot. He, he just down. Yeah. And that's, I mean, it's looking pretty bad for CTFR right now. They yeah, it's looking pretty grim. They've lost a little bit more than this. Uh, actually, quite a bit. They lost 400 points. They finished the round with 32 health bonus, and that'll go down a little bit to 16 after. So Team CTFO increases their score to 13-16 behind Elusive's 22-18. So they're 900 points behind here. And, I mean, that's, that's the completion of the finale, so it is possible if they get a wipe. But, I mean, it's going to be really hard. Things are not looking too good for CTFO right now. Yeah, this is pretty uh, pretty low percentage finale for them. <laughs> I mean, even even with an early wipe, and then they'd have to pretty much make it all the way through three tanks. Yeah. If they if they get the early wipe, they have to make it all the way with only a uh, hundred to two hundred health bonus. And I mean, if you make it all the way on this stage, I mean, you pretty much get a hundred health bonus just for making it because of the uh, bonus it's worth. But and our first attack is a spitter, jockey, hunter, and a charger. So it's a pretty good attack. We will yeah. have that instant take spawn, of course. Yeah, the way I like to do this is to pre-spit. That corner right outside of the safe room door, and just have everyone charge at it. Try to keep a minute. Can we not shoot each other? I think one of the biggest things here is, um, I mean, giving that tank time to either get the hit up one or get into a, a good position. Yes. Yeah, no doubt. And that attack comes in, the hunter this lands, good hit. I know, and the charge back into this bit too, wow. A lot of damage on the Ellis, a little bit of damage on Tenade as well, and that tank has spawned up ahead. 99 damage. That's into the hands of Bionic. Solid. Yeah, great first attack. The yeah, pounce landing pretty much bit. exactly what, you know, what my favorite hit is, which is spit at the door, and everyone just try to keep a minute. That pounce land in this bit, the charger managed to charge in this bit. That tank is not getting that hitable where he wants it, so. Yeah, he's Bionic have to go. having a little trouble getting <laughs> it in. All the way across the stand now, so he's gonna have to go play with it a little more. He's gonna pass it before he even gets it in front of the doorway. And he's, and they, I think he's just gonna give up yeah. on it. They're just gonna. Hope they did get one pass. Let's see. I mean, honestly, and even if he goes up there and he gets that hitable, he's gonna be down to like, you know. 30% rage before he really even gets it in, so... Let's take this away to CTFO's board room for the tank. Alrighty, start pushing in. Got this project. Oh, hells yeah! If you don't get this, you're cut! I know, right? You're you cut. got it! I'm on it! Baby son. By the power oh. of baby son. <laughs> And all the babies. Four babies. That should be, son. That should be our new name, Baby from Cole. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. That tank was pretty handily shut yeah. down by Elusive. He only managed one full end cap onto Rochelle, and then I think another uh, puncher onto um, Nate, I think, maybe. Well, they still did. Quite a bit of damage there. They got like another 100 points. Solid damage in one encounter, which is. Good. Yeah. That, they do have that person bleeding through the whole finale now, but I mean, the score deficit, they really needed the wipe for any chance of coming back, and I think, I mean. Yeah, he had a. They, their tank had a lot of. You know, to get. To really maximize your chance of getting the wipe there, you gotta get that hit of the me. Well, we do have another attack coming in. Charger misses his charge. Pounce lands under Rochelle down by the stage in the spit for a lot of damage onto her. Reloading. Well, it's a him, but I called it a her because Rochelle's a female character. <laughs> True that. 
Yeah, I think maybe the key is, you know, practicing hitting hey, those set of balls, crouching down and hitting, you know, straight through it instead of, like, it popping it up. up. Mm. And I mean, but even still with the conventional tank, he got it in there pretty high health. And I mean, he just couldn't land the punches, he getting two drowned missed punches, Reloading. so... Yeah, Nick took a took a big chance there, passing the tank, and but he did get by and uh, caused a lot of damage. And we do have another attack coming in. The jockey lands on um, Ellis for a little bit. The smoker landed onto Nick for a little bit, and the boomer gets popped. So no real damage coming out there. Guns right here. This is the second wave of. I'm this, a reload. Um, first horde, so I think there's two more ways before tank spawns in. Yeah, so I'm just not in terrible shape. They're going to have to make another trip down to the stage after this That's attack. That's Charger sneaking up the top. He actually lands in charge onto Rochelle off the side, and Spig goes in onto her, so she's going to be down. Oh, almost. almost okay. well. But Smudge... You know, phases bonus. Yeah. I think on phases next end cap he will be black and white. He was already down once, so. I'm a reload. Reloading. I'm too young to feel this old. And we do have that tank that spawned up over in that corner room where everybody likes to play it a lot of the time. It spawned into the hands of Tomatam. Well, let's take it away to CTFO's war room. Oh, Pino. All right, just keep sight with this hit. Oh. I should have called that jockey, my bad. So we just want, yeah, yeah, we should, you're right, we should call it. Especially HR, we should call it who's got HR. Did she go with the Molotov? Well, oh. yeah, she's got the Molly. I, uh, that was lovely, thank you for sharing that with the world. <laughs> it's it's in, Molly's in. Did it light you? Nope. Uh, Alright, good. Let's hit now, let's hit now. Let's go. Team, I love these B-Hops. <laughs> Team, right? <laughs> and nothing. Kill the tank. It's fine. Ten percent. Keep control. keep sight with that. Yeah, HR is boomed, so he's chipping. He's chipping. He's boomed, but it don't matter. Oh, Project. The Project time to shine. Tank. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Your time and to I shine. And I already dodged the no hitter. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to Here get that boom. Okay, do it again. Yeah, I got this guy right here. I got Soul Star. There, LOS and Big Time. What? Get that boom. Oh. Go. Man, oh, I don't know. Tank Scratch. Just saw it. Keep side with that hit. Oh, I thought we were, I thought we were gonna go. Uh, yeah, safer. Yeah, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to go in now. No, 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 no. Keep nah, I thought we were just There's gonna go there no line of sight to yeah, keep their LOS. Go in. Okay. Whatever. No, go in, go in, go in. We'll have Two, bombs, seven, like, by 12, the time. 14. Whatever. Keep on this side. Don't make this the no hitter. Oh, if I believe you. in you. We believe I got in you. you. I got this. Don't support him yet. <laughs> Don't support him yet. I'm not. I'm just yeah, now, now, jumping. Now, now, now. Get him, get him. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Home run. Nice. That was my dream. Want to make you peace. You hurt bad. Welcome back, everybody. That was Team CTFO's second tank, the first one of the event. We do have Soulstar who got killed. And what up, he's not happy. <laughs> not sure, actually. He's putting frowny faces up. He's not happy. Good shit. He got home run. At this point, with this uh, much completion score behind their belt, uh, it's looking pretty bad for um, CTFO to come back on this stage, I think. I mean, they're going to need 600 points of bonus minimum at this point to win. Which, I mean, you don't really see that, so... Yeah. This, I mean... Honestly, I've never seen like over a 300 point bonus on this round. 
And, and I hardly ever see this since uh, they put the new tents up there and the new windows. Double cap going in onto um, Coach. He gets a double get up. And that Hunter's just tearing apart Nick down there on the stage and almost encaps him. It's looking like Elusive is uh, going to be wiping on this next tank probably. They only have three survivors left, one of which is slow. The other one is about to become slow. And uh, I think Nick took his shot. Reloading! So. This we have like, the beginning of the end. Yeah, we have like huge separation here. I think they're just kind of like doing whatever at this point. All of the spawns coming in going for Coach. Smoker misses his pull at point blank. Charger missing. Jockey and caps for Shell down on the stage and kills her. Nick's really hoarded he's about to go down and that's going to be the round. <laughs> yeah, usually... Um, the more injured the survivors are, the closer they tend to go. I think yeah. they went for the uh, separate and conquer strategy there, I guess. Yeah. I think they were like, oh, we're going to die the tank anyway, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do a little math right here. It looks like Elusive has 2,700 points and CTFO's at 1,300, so they're going to need, what is that? Seven. Well, they need 1,400 points, right? So they need, basically points, they, so. need, they need a 600 point bonus. Yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, possible, likely, not really. It could, though. I mean, anything can happen. This is Left 4 Dead. I've seen yeah, crazier things. <laughs> I mean, I guess I've gotten through the tank with four green survivors on, you know, the first tank. But it's yeah, pretty I've rare. Usually there's an in-cap, or worse. Yeah. To I mean, I won. Usually, <laughs> if the first tank's not a wipe, it sets up for a wipe later in the stage. So. So we got some. It's like Soulstar wants some poker lessons from One Eye. Reloading. I don't know which face is more creepy of those two sprays, the sun one, or the, like, the, is that a dog or an alien? I don't even know what that is yet. I've been watching that the whole game, I don't know what that is. Reloading. It's like an alien mutant dog or something. And here comes the attack. Hunter lands and gets a nice spit onto the pound. A lot of damage on the coach, and nobody else really takes any damage, but he lost about 35 health there, so... And tank is up. Let's see if in the hands Smudge, of Smudges. Yeah, Smudge is playing this tank. Let's see if he can get it into uh, position better. And it looks like he is so far. Nice second yeah. hit. That's gonna go in the next time. That's a little sick, actually. This is, where I, the other this is where I back up actually and throw a rock at it. But yep, he manages to just jam it in there like a boss. All right. Well, Smudge moves this forklift into play. Let's take it away to Elusive's war room. Oh, you got that. You got that forklift. Nah. Oh. Good setup. Didn't need the tank. Oh, no, forklifts are. Forklifts end really good. Yeah, just... Don't double pass, don't double pass. <laughs> oh, fuck this game! <laughs> oh my god. Kill toy tank right here. Nate, focus us in. Yeah, focus us in. Get the boom if you can. Shoot it! Don't help him out. Yeah. Get a switch. Let's go, yeah. Cut the back here. I got my arm out here. Nate. What are you doing, Nate? Get it forward, get it forward. Ah! Oh. Clutched it. 
Welcome back, everybody. Okay. That was Team Elusive's tank. CTFO was able to get out of that tank with all permanent health. Um, only one that was severely hurt was Coach, Project GSX. Um, well, they really clutched it there. They just didn't... They, you know what I really liked about the way that they played that? They didn't back into that room and play like a bunch of pussies. They just bossed up the tank put their chins out and said it's either me or you, and that tank looked like it was in real good shape. It had 5,000 health, it had a hitable, he had all his spells. We do have another attack coming in. Smoker lands a pull. Jockey's jumping around trying to get on the neck, but he gets a dead stop and kill. And that Smoker's jumping down to try to get some scratches before he gets killed. Yeah, I see a lot of teams like crawling back into that little dark room, and it's almost guaranteeing giving up uh, two in caps there. And given their score situation, they really couldn't afford to go back into there. We kind of talked about it, but uh, Project SX actually got a DP for 23 damage. I didn't see who that hunter was, but that was really nice. It was off of the uh, stage, top of the stage when they were coming out. And we do have another attack coming in. Boomer lands on the two for free. Hunter lands and actually takes the charge's target and misses everything. Boomer gets another proxy onto one who's already boomed. That charger coming back in for some punches but gets killed before he can get any. And we do have a pause going out from Elusive Nate. And he just left. Nate's getting 10 FPS to restart. So we do have a little pause. Um, I guess we can talk some logistics while the game is paused. Um, CTFO is sitting at 900 points of bonus right now. So theoretically it's still possible for them to win. But I mean they're going to have to make it through the next two tanks without any damage at all. And I mean with bleed out I think. And with the bleed out they would probably bust in 600 points of bonus by the time the game is over. Well, I'll st I'll be impressed if they clutch it out here and someone gets onto the helicopter because it's pretty rare occurrence. And we do have like this. we do have another game starting right now. I'm not quite sure who's playing, but uh, go ahead and stick around for the sec game that's happening right after this one. And the game is going live now. Nate has reconnected. He's ready to go. We do have our spawns up, should see an attack coming at any time here. It's a spitter, jockey, hunter, and a charger. Pretty good hit, here comes see what the attack. do with it. Charger's climbing up the ladder to go for Rochelle. He actually misses Rochelle, but he gets a <laughs> chandra. Point blank, miss him. Going to this city on Coach, who is jockey, to for damage onto him. Yeah, Coach has been nominated the damage yeah. sponge. So. Since pretty much the very first attack, he's been eating damage like boss. That's good for CTFO though. That means yeah, no doubt. Just it's possible. Land on one. They still have 730 bonus. They need 600. So if they make it through the next two tanks flawlessly, which I mean, realistically, that's probably not going to happen. But this well, is coach is gonna. They're gonna have to pass for some pills, or he's gonna have to go down on stage. Everybody yep, and he is. And they do still have two pulls and shots down the stage now. Attack is coming in. Smoker gets killed quickly. Boomer getting popped. Hunter getting dead stopped and killed. Look at that. gets killed as well. Yep, good shut down. So with that pill pickup, uh, CTFO is actually at 820. Actually, they just popped, so there's 784 bonus now. Mm -hmm. That bonus is and they have two shots. so rapidly on the finale. So, And we do have that tank which spawned into Nate's hands. He's passing quickly, doesn't want to give his position away to the survivors. Yeah, he's in a particularly bad spot, yeah, that's why. It's, it's not a good spot, and I mean, it's already down to 25% rage. They were already setting up gas by him, and he's and they, in the room. So they know it's there, they put the gas can there, they're going for chip. And he gets so clean. Great SI support, giving him a nice time to get out without getting the... Ellis is hung up yeah. on it. Yeah. Wow, this is just warming up to be a huge wipe here. The, um, what happened there? Did he get punched up there by the tank, I think? Uh, yeah, I think he got punched up there. I, what I don't, I don't even know if I would have let up. What an incredible hang here. on Ellis, that was crazy. Yeah, that, 
It just looked like such a bad situation for the tank right there. He had a gas can right on his exit, and nobody was able to light that fire off, and they just ate a massive attack. Ella's going, Ella's going for the light in the window, missing them all on top, and then Bionic laughing at him. Let's take this away to Elusive's war room for the nerve of their tank. Oh. oh. They only have two shots left. Good tank, Nate. Okay, and they're not gonna kill me. Pass the tank, Nate. I want a tank. I want a tank. Yeah, give uh, Frank the tank. It even rhymes, Frank the tank. Yeah. It's destined to be Frank. Give Frank the tank. Pushing a tank. No, you're not! No, why not? What are you doing, Nate? No, pass the tank! Don't support him, don't support him. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm half dead. Star. I'm dead. Okay, AI. No, no that's I don't AI. care. Really Even if I die, going in. At least person. you get the tank. Okay. Everyone support Frank as best you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dead. Are we going? Call for the other. Go, Tim. Tim, let's support Go, Tim. Frank. Because Frank's the best. God damn much, man. I get it. This is eight and I go in. This is because it's too good for me. You're bad so much, though. They have more friends than you. Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. That was Elusive's tank. They managed to get a wipe onto Tomatan, and the charger landed onto Nick and almost uncapped him as well. Um, survivors are currently sitting at 276 health bonus after that tank, so it is now mathematically impossible for them in the game. But um, I think they're just going to go for as many points as possible. Yeah, like I said, I'd still like to see them try to get on, but with uh, with Coach down for such low health, mm -hmm. it's looking very precarious. Looks and like, they don't uh, have any health. Will probably be very likely wipe. They don't have any health left on the stage, so what's on them is all they got. Coach gets punched down, gets a boom onto him as well. The jockey's going for Rochelle up on the tower, and he does land, and drags her off the side for a cap. We do have two end caps right now. Spawn timers are coming up, but they're going to get those pickups. Thanks, man. Nice clear on that hunter. It was killed instantly when it spawned in. Spitter missing everything. Charger coming in alone, and he's going up on the tower. Up for Russia and <laughs> getting PZ'd like a nerd. Falls and gets killed. I believe there's one more wave after this. Um, yeah, that's not a bad spot where Rochelle is posting up. The only thing you have to watch out for is uh, the smoker down uh, in that little square area where the gas comes up. The smoker decides to smoke from someplace where he can surely get killed. And we do have our final tank in play. Spawn into the hands of Phase. Looks like this is probably going to be a lot of fun if all the survivors are slow with this because they're only one fast and that tank is coming straight in. I think it's going to be a lot of fun with this Going for Coach, going to get that cap on the end. He's dead, he's a black guy. He just guy. disappeared off the map. Killing Ellis. And a punch Ellis for Shell on the side. And Nick is the last one up. Tank has 1600 health remaining. Well, nice speed by Nick and Rocket. See some solo clutching by Bionic right here. I think it takes trying to charge. I believe. I believe. Wants his uh, solo time. Tank down to 1300 health now. Charger going for the city on to Bionic. Does get killed. Hunter going for scratches on the Bionic. He gets killed. Tank missing punches. Tank going for, for scratches on the Playing with them like a rag doll at this point. <laughs> Killing the smoker as he spawns in, he's like, no, screw you, smoker, he's mine, uh, and then suicides. Yeah, so, kudos to Nick there for landing it the right way, and... The right way, he suicided. 
I'm just saying, it's like the game's already over. They, yeah. The tank should have pushed him harder and just finished it up instead of just playing so, around killing his own spawns. That anyway, is great the game. game. Elusive, Elusive wins over great. CTFO uh, 2701 to 1937. Good game. Uh, it was exciting all the way through. Thanks for um, joining me for the cast tonight, One Eye. Thank you, Rev, for filming it. It was um, my to all the pleasure. Viewers, yeah, thanks. And to all the viewers, we have another cast happening right after this. I don't know who's playing, but if you want to uh, watch another cast right after this, um, I won't be doing it, so don't worry, because I'm so bad I know. Um, so I'll just be doing it, but if you want to watch the cast right after this, go ahead and do so. And I'm sure Jeff will let you guys know uh, via millions of announcements and Steam events what is going on. I'm not sure exactly. I'm going to ask him right now, but I'm sure you guys will know what's up. Um, what are you talking about? Because I don't know what's up. Well, I'm not <laughs> you sure mean about the, the continuation of this tournament? You mean? Yeah, hmm. there's another round happening right after this, I believe. So. Yeah, I've been getting messaged by Dusty. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, keep the faith that Confogel is uh, it's up and coming, and that um, we're gonna have a mutation soon. And the competitive scene, although people think that it's continuously sh shrinking, I actually don't believe that. I think that it, it is slowly gaining ground. So um, if you want to get into the scene, come uh, come to uh, come to our mumbles. There's a there's a new group forming, LTD Rage Quit, with a lot of new players. They're getting uh, pugs daily, multiple pugs, five or six every day. So if you want to learn how to play, come on down and get involved because uh, it's still here. And L40Nation.com, go there. It's awesome. It has all kinds of cool stuff, tournaments, uh, cast announcements. You can meet all the people from the community, everything like that. So. That was very endearing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, thank you guys for joining us, and we have another matchup right after this. I will be watching that with you guys, I believe. So if you want to watch another match, go ahead and stay right here. Peasy, peasy, peasy. <laughs>